Hello everyone, Ubel Master, aka 38 the Master One here, bringing you another video for the Ubel community, and we're continuing with our Phantom Nightmare reveals with part four, and this time we have some fish support with some expansion of the White Aura cards. I had to do a little bit of research for this because these cards were released during my hiatus. But apparently these are some fish synchros with only two main deck monsters. They seem to be generic water support that worked pretty well with the goatee archetype. So let's take a look at them. First off we have White Mambo or White Sunfish. It's a level 4 fish effect monster with 1200 attack and 1000 defense. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is in your hand, you can target one level 4 or lower fish monster in your graveyard with the same name as a card you control, special summon this card, and if you do, special summon that monster. And it also has the effect of if this card is special summoned from the graveyard, you can treat this card as a tuner this turn. Okay, so the interesting thing about this is that you need to have a fish monster in your graveyard with exactly the same name as a fish monster on the field, which I'm not really sure, but that does sound a little bit tricky to perform. Let's move on to the next one here, and we have a white sardine. It's a level two fish effect monster with 800 attack and zero defense. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can send one white sardine from your deck to the graveyard, special summon this card from your hand. Well, there we go. That clearly synergizes with the first card, so we have something going here. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except water monsters. If this card is special summoned from the graveyard, you can treat it as a tuner this turn. So it seems like a running theme of this archetype is that they are pretty flexible with how they're treated as tuners if they're special summoned from the graveyard. And I'm not sure, but I think that's what the old white aura cards do as well. I think this card is a lot better than the first one because it's basically a free special summon as long as you have other copies in your deck. It does lock you into water monsters, so it does limit your plays, but not by much, I'm sure. Anyway, let's move on and check out this synchro monster. White aura... White aura porpoise. Level 6, Water, Fish, Synchro, Effect Monster. It has 2000 attack and 1300 defense. Materials, 1 Water Tuner and 1 Non-Tuner Monsters. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can Special Summon 1 Level 4 or lower Fish Monster from your hand or Graveyard in Defense Position. Then you can Special Summon 1 Monster with the same name from your Graveyard. If this card you control is destroyed by your opponent and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one other water monster from your graveyard, special summon this card. And if you do, it is treated as a tuner. Okay, so this seems to be some kind of synchro bridge card where when it's summoned, it special summons another fish monster, but it then summons another copy if you have something of the same name in your graveyard. So essentially you can just summon two fish monsters, and if you're summoning something from the white aura archetype, then you can treat one of them as a tuner, and either continue to synchro climb or make another synchro monster. Although looking at the other monsters, this one's a level 2 and this one's a level 4. So if you're summoning two of the same monster, you can either make a level 8 synchro or a level 4 synchro. But if you use itself, then you can actually make a level 10 synchro as well. So if you're not locked into water monsters, then you can just go into Baron de Floor. And the second effect is pretty nice, where it floats into itself if you have ammo in the grave to banish. So your opponent essentially has to kill this twice if they're destroying it. So let's move on to the fourth card. It's a continuous spell, White Reincarnation. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When this card resolves, you can add one fish monster that has an effect to treat itself as a tuner from your deck to your hand. Okay, so this is basically a tanky for the white aura archetype, but it looks like it has some additional effects. So effect number two is once per turn, if your white aura monster attacked, at the end of the damage step, you can have it make a second attack in a row. Okay. Once per turn, if a level 8 or higher fish synchro monster is special summoned from your graveyard, even during the damage step, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Wow, okay. That's a pretty annoying continuous spell to deal with, and is nice for a card that already searches you a monster. Also, the whole double attack thing is definitely a nice bonus. So yeah, those are the cards. There's some new fish support for anyone who's interested. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Phantom Nightmare reveals and plenty of U-Bell content. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.